Moving away from Ukraine on to other world news, clashes broke out early this Friday at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque. Medics say that dozens of Palestinians were injured. Tensions have soared in recent weeks after a series of deadly attacks by Palestinians prompted a military operation from Israel that has killed multiple Palestinians in the West Bank. Well, for more, we can cross to Jerusalem and speak to Sami Sokol. Uh, Sami, what else do we know about what happened in Jerusalem this morning? Yeah, well, I can uh, tell you that the Israeli uh, police and their forces, they stormed the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Uh, we're talking about uh, before six o'clock this uh, morning, and they uh, confronted uh, hundreds of uh, Palestinian youth who were there. And uh, we've seen uh, very uh, strong images of uh, tear gas and uh, both uh, stun grenades being tossed into the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Uh, there were people there who were beaten by the police, including journalists that were beaten by the police. Uh, we have report now of uh, 60 Palestinians who were wounded. Uh, the police have said that they have three who were wounded in this uh, clash. And uh, when they're asked why, why did they uh, go inside into this uh, Al-Aqsa Mosque Plaza, known uh, in Hebrew as the, uh, the Temple Mount, uh, they were saying that they did it in order to uh, confront the Palestinians who were marching there, uh, who already were preparing with stones and were throwing stones, and that they were waving uh, Palestinian flags and Hamas uh, flags. And uh, what we've seen today is very similar to what we've seen in Jerusalem last year. And this has led to a bigger escalation uh, with the war in Gaza that followed, exactly uh, following these uh, incidents in the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. And Sammy, this comes after weeks of tension in the West Bank, where the Israeli military launched an operation after a series of attacks. Can you tell us what's been happening there? Yeah, well, throughout the West Bank, the Israeli military has been uh, making uh, large-scale arrests among uh, militants, uh, especially those who are active with the Islamic uh, Jihad, but also with other uh, factions. And uh, what we've seen uh, yesterday, there were three funerals in the West Bank, two Palestinians from the Jenin area. Uh, there was another one who died of his wounds from clashes uh, next to Beta, south of Nablus. And um, we're seeing a kind of an escalation. Uh, Israel has announced that they will enable the uh, prayer to continue today in the Al-Aqsa Mosque and that there will be a closure over the West Bank at 4 o'clock this afternoon. This is ahead of the Jewish holiday. Today uh, is a beginning of the Passover. Uh, so, I mean, it's a very sensitive uh, period. And the Israeli uh, military has uh, announced that uh, Palestinians will not be allowed to enter uh, Jerusalem and Israel uh, throughout this uh, weekend, the first day of uh, Passover. All right, Sammy, you will, of course, be keeping a close eye for us on the situation there. Uh, Sammy Sokol reporting from Jerusalem.